What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're touring this newly constructed modern farmhouse located in Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. Located on 562 North Green Craig Road, this home has six bedrooms, six and a half bath, 6,970 square feet, and it is listed for $7,295,000. Let's go take a look. Before we get started, I want to mention that this home was built by I Am Homes and it is listed by Katie Benson and Juliet Honan. So I want to thank them for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Looking to the exterior of the home, we have a patterned concrete driveway leading up to the two-car garage and I really like the glass garage door right there. And as we look at the exterior of the home, we have board and batten siding throughout the entire home. And I like this kick out on the front and on the side here that has the vertical wood look siding. I thought that really warmed up the look of this home. And lastly, I really like the black fixtures throughout, starting from the garage door to the light fixtures, front door, all the way to your window to really bring up the modern elements on the exterior of the home. Now, let's go inside. So, we just walked into the property and we are actually on the second level of this home right now. On this floor, we have the formal living room, formal dining room, kitchen area, and the family room. And since we're at the entrance right here, we're gonna start with this door right here, which takes us to the two-car garage. It's actually really good space. I love these epoxy floors. This is where you have your instant water heaters as well. And like we mentioned on the outside, this is a really cool glass panel garage door bringing so much natural light in. Back into the property, on the left hand side, we have the elevator for this home. So here's the cool part. This home is basically three levels plus the rooftop. And this elevator not only goes all the way to the first floor, it actually goes all the way to the rooftop as well. Many homes, they end up stopping at the top floor. I thought that was really, really cool. And on this side, we have the staircase here going up to the third floor and also the fourth floor of this home. I love this Chevron design, installed hardwood floors leading all the way to the end of the hallway towards that pocketing door right there. Formal living room area is off of the entry right here. First of all, I really like the fact that they went with a darker stain on the wall paneling and also on the ceiling paneling as well. I think it contrasts really well with these light walls throughout. I really like these brass wall sconces on the each side and this fireplace right here with a really cool marble surround and i really like this natural wood mantle around it as well i think it really ties in with the floors and just keeps the natural look throughout as we continue this way we have the formal dining room area same wood paneling continues here as well both on the walls and the ceilings but this time they actually have less grits it's more of the flat looks and i love how nice this dining room table is situated right in the center with this beautiful brass chandelier right above it. And again, this is a modern farmhouse, so we're gonna see a lot of hardwood floors and wood panelings throughout, but the fixtures are gonna bring that modern element throughout. So let's go back to the hallway. And on this side of the hallway, we actually have a bedroom with its own bathroom and a half bathroom to serve this floor. Starting with the bedroom. It's actually a good size bedroom right here. Closets are built in on this side. Really, really cool chandelier. And like I mentioned, this bedroom has its own bathroom. Cement tile designs are gonna be throughout this entire house. Marble walls, your rain head. It's actually a really good cozy size bathroom here. Back to the hallway, we have a half bathroom on this side. First of all, we don't see this very often, but I like this half paneling and the wallpaper look on the bathroom walls. I think it's a little different, but it works really well. I love this Nero Marquina marble countertops here. Brass fixtures throughout. It's just very sleek, modern, and clean. And going back to the hallway again, I'm gonna take right here so we can tour this amazing kitchen. And I'm really, really gonna take my time on this one because there are so many details I wanna mention. I love this two-tone cabinetry throughout. 
they went with the gray cabinets on the base and uppers for the most part and they went with a more of a natural wood look on the center island right here on this side we have a wolf espresso maker here built into the cabinetry and i love how this side is all open and there are no upper cabinets here and it's all glass bringing so much natural light in and it's actually a really nice view to look at as well we have a modern farm sink on this side and one of the two dishwashers are located here and i'm going to turn towards this side to talk about this island i love the helsinki marble they use it contrasts really well with the other side's countertop here some open space but what's cool about it is this open area right here that serves as a bar area and seating i thought the island continued really well and that design feature made a lot of sense beautiful brass light fixtures right above the kitchen island and we have the microwave right here built into the island as well and on this side i love how they paneled the hood vent to really blend in with the cabinetry we have a six burner wolf gas stove on this side and here's another cool detail the same countertop they've actually used it as a backsplash tile here and they of course have a pot filler overall a very very functional kitchen lastly on this side these floating shelves with led lights underneath it again kind of opens up the space a little bit since they wanted to go with a seamless look with these brass handles they pretty much paneled anything any appliance they can in this case your refrigerator is paneled on this side and on this side you have your second fridge right here with the freezer right below it even that is paneled this side of the cabinetry continues as a pantry and back to the island we have the secondary sink right here and your secondary dishwasher now i'm going to go this way we have a little office area on the left hand side and pantry space on the other and the same open hallway right here flows into your formal dining room area so I'm gonna go back to the hallway so we can take a look at this family room. It's a good sized family room and conveniently off of from the kitchen. It's actually a really, really nice space. Same wood paneling is also on this uh, room as well. You have a gas fireplace and the same marble as the kitchen countertop is surrounding this gas fireplace. You already have the wiring here for your TV, for your future TV, and again, pretty much a good space but here's the cool part about this family room it opens up to your balcony space so these glass doors open up these Fleetwood glass doors open up and pocket all the way into the wall and this is the second level balcony space here same cement tile design also continues here I thought that was a really cool touch you can really get a second look of your board and batten siding on the exterior of the home wood ceilings over here as well it's just a very very good space and since this is a modern farmhouse, instead of a glass or a cable railing, they would with a wood railing over here for the balcony. Overall, it's a perfect place to enjoy your view. It's so peaceful up here, a lot of greenery throughout, and it's a really nice space off of your family room and your hallway. That wraps up the second floor. Now let's take the stairs to go up to the third floor so we can take a look at all the bedrooms. So we're just going up on the stairs to go to the third level of this house. On this level, we have three bedrooms with their in-suite bathrooms, master bedroom, and the office. We're gonna start right here, which is the first bedroom on this level. I love the layout of the home where each bedroom really gets their own zone. In this case, this is one of the good sized bedrooms right here. And I also love how each bedroom has a different bathroom design. Cement floor tiles on this one, marble walls throughout and same narrow marquina countertop on the vanities industrial mirror with the brass fixture right above it and we're going back to the hallway to go to the second bedroom which is on this side right here this one is a little bit bigger and i have to point out this cool light fixture right above the room like i mentioned before different bathrooms for each bedroom this one has a really really cool again hexagon cement tile design Really cool vanity over here with kind of almost like a rustic hardware as well. Narrow marquina countertops here. Again, the industrial mirror with the light fixture above it. And on the walk-in shower, we have the rain head. Just overall very clean, good space. And lastly, this bedroom also has a walk-in closet with kind of the same cabinetry like the rest of the home. It's all you need. All you need. We're going back to the hallway and quickly on our left-hand side, we have an open office space. 
I think this is kind of cool where anybody that wants to get work done or just wants to hang out, this could be like a secondary family room for this level. Paneled walls and you have the gas fireplace to cozy up. Lastly, we have a bedroom right here, but before we go there, we actually have the elevator access for this level right here. So this is the last bedroom we're gonna tour before we go to the master bedroom. And this one's actually could easily be secondary master. I mean, it's very, very spacious, gets great light. And this one also has its own bathroom. Like I mentioned, cement tiles are also on this one, but each one of the bathrooms have different designs, kind of the same cabinetry, but more of the brass looks over here. And they went with a tub design right here with a marble surround but you still get your rain head. And lastly, this bedroom of course has a walk-in closet as well. Kind of same cabinetry throughout. Overall, this is the biggest bedroom after the master bedroom on this level. So we're back on the hallway again and we are going through these double doors so we can take a look at the master bedroom. And right away, nice little seating area off of your master bedroom with this beautiful brass chandelier. And here's a cool fact, double-sided gas fireplace and it's actually embedded into this wall right here. The whole bedroom has lighter color walls and they went with a darker tone on this one where as soon as you walk into the room, your eye catches the gas fireplace. And I like that not only you can enjoy it from the seating side, you can also enjoy this gas fireplace from your bed. I really like these oversized windows right here because not only they bring so much natural light in, it's actually a really, really cool view to look at. You know, in Brentwood we have these a tree and greenery scene, which we're not used to seeing throughout the entire city. I feel like it's a different overview, but if you live in Brentwood, most likely you're really gonna enjoy a view like this one. And the same windows continue here. You actually get a little bit more glass over here. Again, bringing all the natural light in, enjoying the view. And lastly, as I'm touring this bedroom, I really like the ceilings. Not only they're white and light, but every single detail in the ceiling is also white, like your recess light caps, your AC diffusers, so they really, really blend in. And before we leave this room, I wanna mention these light fixtures on the each side of the bed. I think this is always a great touch, whether it's a modern home or modern farmhouse like this one. It just really sets the location where you can put your bed, and in this case, it's perfectly positioned. Back to the seating area, I wanna open up these pocket doors so we can take a look at the master bedroom balcony right here. And again, these doors pocket up, this whole section is fully private to the master bedroom, which I thought was really, really cool. This is a little bit smaller comparing to the balcony below us, but again, same cement tile design continues on this level as well. You get incredible views. You can look down to your pool area from here. And again, we're in Brentwood and you're looking towards this beautiful, peaceful view. It's nice that you can enjoy that off of your master bedroom. Now we're going to the master bathroom. Let's start with this walk-in shower right here. So the same floor tiles also continue into the shower and you have marble walls throughout, nice shampoo niche. You have your rain head, body spray, even your steam shower. This is all you can ask in a walk-in shower, including your bench. And going out, right next to the shower, we have the toilet area. And I wanna bring the attention to, the, to these floors. These marble floors are installed in different sizes, but not only that, there are, really, there are these really cool brass inlays throughout the master bathroom floors that I thought was a really, really cool touch. Again, it ties in with the rest of the brass details. On this side, we have a floating vanity here with a natural look finish. Normally when we have countertops, they tend to have one and a half to two inches of reveal. In this case, they made about a five or six inch reveal, which I thought looked very exquisite. And not only that, they've continued the same countertop as a backsplash, I wanna say probably 12 inches, then your wood paneling continues on the back. A lot of people may not catch that detail, but I thought it looked very, very cool. As I walk this way, we have a freestanding tub here. Again, brass floor mount, tub filler on this side. They could have easily go with a wall mount, but they wanted the space to feel open and free. And lastly, same countertop design. We have a little makeup area right here, but again, brings the brass elements on this side, continues this way as well. Overall, beautiful master bathroom. And before we leave the master bedroom side of the home, we need to check out the closets. Again, kind of matches the rest of the bedroom's walk-in closet, but on this side, 
is where we have the main space, the real closet. A lot of cabinetry here with glass inserts to kind of make the space a little bit more open. And I got to point out this really cool chandelier right here. And that was pretty much it for the third floor of this house. Now we're going to go back to the stairs so we can take a look at the rooftop. So now we are back on the staircase so we can go to the rooftop of this home. But before we go, you kind of have a landing area right here. You have a window right here bringing natural light. I really, really like the chandelier they put right here. What a statement piece. And as we come up to the landing area, even on this level, the same wood ceiling continues. And now that we're on the rooftop, I wanna to go to the left right here. We have the access to the elevator, which means elevator comes up all the way to the rooftop, which is a nice convenience to have. I really like the simple concrete floors throughout and you can actually see some of your board and band siding designs right here. And I want to talk a little bit about this rooftop space because not only you get this incredible green view throughout, you can actually get a peak of the ocean view as well. It's really nice to have a rooftop. Having a rooftop like this would make me enjoy the home that much more. And with that said, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you do, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions in regards to this property or any other property in Los Angeles, drop us a comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And that was pretty much it for the rooftop of this home. Now we're gonna go all the way down to the first floor, which has a lot of cool surprises. So let's get going. So now we're on the first floor of this home. But before we get started, we have the door right here for the elevator going down all the way to the last level of this home. I really like this wallpaper design right here. I thought it was a really cool different touch. We have a little open room right here currently staged as a massage room, but it's up to your imagination to use it however you want. Big hallway here and I'm going to take the first door on my right hand side, which is the movie theater. It's a cozy size. I love the carpet on the floors and these padded walls for the sound installation. And lastly, I like the recessed light detail with the LED lighting. Back to the hallway. I'm gonna keep going straight on this side. We have a half bathroom for this floor. Kind of carries some of the design elements like the rest of the bathrooms we saw. Narrow Marquino marble, wallpaper, panel design. I really love this wallpaper they have. I do. I honestly love all the wallpapers that they have used. And me and Mikey, we tend to tour every single room in every single house, but a lot of times these utility rooms where you have your wash and dryer are not necessarily this nice, but this one looks impeccable. And here's what I like about it. What a great thought. They raise these washer and dryers. What a good idea. Not only it gives you a space to put more cabinetry here, it also brings them to perfect height. I thought that was a great touch. And lastly on this side, this gorgeous farm sink right here. They didn't have to go this detail, but I think they did a great job. They even put cement floor tiles over here to tie in the rest of the look. Back to the hallway again, and you have another family room on the left-hand side. But before we go there, we're gonna take it right over here because they have a full bedroom here with an in-suite bathroom on this level. It's almost like a perfect guest room. Walk-in closet here, great space, and it has these Fleetwood pocket doors on this level opening up to the patio area. This bathroom also has a cement floor tiles over here. Really, really cool vanity with a full sink countertop. And lastly, I wanna talk about the tub setup. They went with a subway tile design, rain head, to kind of change up the scene a little bit. But even this small bedroom has an incredibly tasteful bathroom. And back to the hallway, now we have a family room here, opens up to the backyard area, which we're going next. But before we go there, I'm gonna briefly talk about this space. It's actually very open, clean. I love this countertop backsplash design they did. There's actually basically a wet bar here. This is a perfect room to entertain. It's kind of secluded from the rest of the home. And the best part is it has these pocket doors right here, pocketing all the way into the wall to integrate your backyard space with this entertainment area. So that's where we're going next. Let's get started by pocketing these doors all the way into the wall right here. Yeah. 
This really creates the perfect indoor-outdoor feel here and really expands your entertainment area off to your patio space. Same cement tile continues here and I want to point out these really cool ceiling fans throughout. It will bring great ventilation to inside and outside of the home. And the concrete pattern continues to your infinity edge pool with a spa and the pool looks towards this incredible view right here and these trees provide so much privacy here. And since I'm on this side, you can really get a good look of the back of the home. You can see each level with the balcony spaces here and we have a staircase on this side going up all the way to the entrance of the home. And lastly, we have the barbecue area with a countertop space and stairs actually going up to the second floor of the home from that side. And that was pretty much it for this house. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Like I mentioned, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions, drop us a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, again, I want to thank the listing agents, Katie Benson and Juliet Honan for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And we'll see you guys next week.